Hi Escape Haven ladies, my name's Emma and I'm going to be teaching you Pilates today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm a Pilates teacher, a yoga teacher and nutritionist here in Bali. I've been living here for about two and a half years and um, have done a, a fair bit of work with a lot of the ladies from Escape Haven. So if I've taught you before, it's great to see you again. If I haven't taught you before, welcome. And I'm looking forward to seeing you when you can come back to Bali really soon. But for now, let's do it like this. Everybody get on your mat and let's get started. Okay, so let's start standing up. We can start standing at the top of your mat. Um, first of all, I want to take, because we're talking about the fundamentals of Pilates today, we're going to go through the very basic structure of Pilates. So if you've done Pilates before, it might feel a little bit slow, but it's always good to come back to the basics so that you can revise your posture and, and remember things that maybe you've forgotten in your regular practice. So start by just standing at the top of your mat. Have your feet hip distance apart. I'm going to face the camera, but this is how um, Frankie's position is how you should be. Feet are hip distance apart. Just allow the arms to be down by your side. Your chin is in line with the floor. Close your eyes. And let's just take a little bit of time just to settle into the body. Letting go of any external thoughts, any distractions, and knowing that for the next few minutes, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters but you exploring what it feels like to be inside your body. So notice how it feels to have your feet on the floor. Notice how it feels as you squeeze your inner thighs slightly and wrap your glutes towards each other. Notice how it feels as you draw your belly in and draw your ribs towards each other and drop your shoulders down your back. Maybe sway your weight from side to side, forwards and backwards. Maybe make little circles until you find that place where your whole body feels stacked. Vertebrae on top of vertebrae in the spine. Lovely. Now in Pilates, we often talk about the shape. It's called the tall shape. And that's the shape that I want you to have when you're standing or when you're lying down. So first of all, we'll find it here as you're standing. Take your awareness now to the back of your body. And I want you to feel as if from your waist down, your energy is drawing down towards your heels. So everything is lengthening down towards the floor. And from your waist up, everything is lengthening up towards the sky. Your hands are still by your sides. So you can feel there's a sensation of a two-way stretch happening on the back of your body. Now bring your awareness to the front of your body, to your belly. And feel your belly as it pulls in towards your spine. Then lift it up and tuck it underneath your ribs. So you create like a C curve here with your ribs. So pulling it in and then lifting it up and under your ribs. So there's a nice little C curve in your belly. You want to think about pulling your ribs together so you can feel the back of your body is engaged and the front of your body is engaged. Relax the shoulders, check you're not tensing in the jaw. Lovely. And check your breathing. Now if you're a yogi, the breath in Pilates can be a little confusing because when we breathe out sometimes in Pilates is when we breathe in sometimes in yoga. I'm a yoga teacher and a Pilates teacher and it stresses me out often. So just breathe however suits you and your practice today. Let's forget about the breath so much and just think more about finding length through the back of the body and strength in the front of your body. So as you inhale, feel the top of your head lengthen, lengthen, lengthen towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest and round through your spine, moving through each vertebrae individually to come to a forward fold. 
Doesn't matter how low you go. What matters is that you've released the spine forwards. Inhale here at the bottom. And again, as you exhale, now pull up with the belly. Feel it's your belly that's lifting you all the way up. Shoulders come up after the chest and then the head stacks back on the top of the neck, feeling length in the back of your body. Keep going in your own breath rhythm. Every inhale lengthening up, every exhale curling down. Now I like to practice Pilates very slowly. Um, I feel that if you go slow, you're able to really feel each and every muscle inside your body. Now coming all the way back up, beautiful Frankie, lovely. So Frankie's going at her pace, I'll go at a different pace, you go at a pace that suits your breath. The purpose of Pilates is to control each and every muscle to build strength and balance through the core of your body. And when we say core in Pilates, we mean glutes, belly, spine, and chest. By building balance in that part of the body, you're able to ensure that every part of the body works together in, in unity. Lovely. So nice and slow and controlled so that you can really feel each and every part of your body through this movement. Let's do one more. Inhale, reaching the top of the head up. Exhale, slowly curling through your spine. Close your eyes if it helps you so that really feel the movement inside your body. Inhaling at the bottom and exhale, pull from your belly. Feel it's your belly that's what's lifting you all the way up. So no momentum in today's class, just using the muscles of your body to help with your movements. Nice. Now let's think about again moving with your breath. So as you inhale now, raise your arms all the way up towards the sky. Drop your shoulders a little bit and check that your ribs are pulled in. That's it. Now flip your palms and the exhale slowly and with exertion, push your arms down by your sides. You can feel your shoulders working, you can feel the muscles in your arms and you can feel your abdominals. Inhale, reaches your arms all the way up to the sky. Really knit those ribs in towards each other. Exhale, flip and push. Notice how when we move slowly, you can really feel the exertion. Inhale, last one, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Shoulders down, ribs in. Exhale, flip, find your tall shape. Push your arms down with exertion. Lovely. Now, uh, Joseph Pilates, who's the creator of the Pilates method, had something which he called the magic seven. They're his seven favorite moves, which work through the whole body. So we're gonna do them now very slowly so that you can really understand them. Take your hands together in genie pose. Cross the right leg back behind the left and see if you can slowly bend your knees to come down to seated. Some people will find that easier than others. <laughs> However you get down is perfect. Then extend your legs long on the floor, reach your arms long, feel your belly pull in towards your spine so you can still find your tall shape while you're seated and slowly curl the spine all the way down to come to laying on your back. Nice. Take a little bit of time as you lay here on your back to find your tall shape. Heels push towards the wall but, um, opposite you. Top of your head reaches back behind you. Fingers lengthen long. You should have a natural curve in your spine. I often see people in Pilates because they try to pull their bellies in so much that they flatten their back onto the mat. That's not what we want. We want to keep the nice natural curve in your spine. Wonderful. Keep your arms nice and long. Let's check Frankie, make sure she's doing it okay. Have your palms facing down towards the floor, Frankie. Wonderful, beautiful. Think about knitting your ribs in a little bit more there. Yes, lovely. Perfect. Now, we're just gonna practice engaging the lower belly. 
So all of our leg movements, you'll probably see in Pilates classes, everyone moves their legs around like this. But what can often happen is you see people's hips moving from side to side like this. I want you to think about really engaging your pelvic floor. So that's the muscle that helps you when, you need, when you're busting for the loo that you squeeze just down there. So you want to think about squeezing the pelvic floor, drawing your belly button towards the spine and tucking the belly underneath your ribs. Now engage your lower belly and see if you can draw your feet up so your feet are flat on the mat, hip distance apart. Nice. Place your hands on your lower belly. I want you to really feel that it's engaged. As you inhale, hold, find your tall shape. As you exhale, draw your right knee up to tabletop. Inhale, hold, exhale, push on your lower belly to feel the engagement as you drop your foot back down to the floor. Lovely. Inhale, hold, find tall shape, exhale, brings the left knee up towards you. Shin in line with the floor, always at a right angle with your knee. And now slowly drop your knee down to the floor. Push on the lower belly, feel your lower belly working. Can you feel it, Frankie? Yeah. Inhale, hold, find your tall shape, exhale, draws the right knee up, wonderful. Inhale, hold, exhale, drops it down. Don't worry if you're breathing differently, just make sure you are breathing. Left knee draws all the way up and holds. Feel the engagement of your belly. Check your hips don't hike up and slowly drop the knee down. Nice, now squeeze your knees in towards each other. Push down onto your lower belly. Check that your ribs are drawn in so you're not popping with the ribs like this. You wanna draw them in together. Inhale, find tall shape. Exhale, slowly brings both knees up together. Should really feel your belly activating here. Inhale, hold and exhale, slowly drops your knees back down to the floor. Inhale, tall shape, exhale, draws your knees back up to the center. Remember, right angle if you can, shins in line with the floor. Slowly drop your knees down, nice. Just check that you don't lose control of your belly and feel it popping in your own breath rhythm, keep going. Slowly bringing your knees up and slowly dropping them down, last one. Slowly bringing your knees up. If you feel a pooch happening here on your belly, it means maybe don't bring your knees up so high because you've lost the engagement of your belly. And slowly bring the knees back down. Wonderful. Slowly bring the knees up. This time, we're gonna keep your hands on your belly. Try not to let the hips rock all the way like this. You're gonna exhale, drop both knees slightly to the right and back to the center. To the left, and back to the center. You should feel the engagement of the sides of your belly here, keep going. Back to the center, these are your obliques. To the left, back to the center, very small movement. To the right, center, and left. Center, lovely. Drop the feet down onto the floor. Just let the knees drop all the way to the right. Get a nice twist in the spine. If you feel any pain in the lower back right now, I want you to think when you're doing your versions of the exercises, take your knees back to the center, drop to the other side. When you're doing your version of the exercises, maybe don't come up quite so high. It means that you've probably gone a little too deep into the back and you've lost the control of your belly. Or you can always keep one foot on the floor. Lovely. Let's go straight into our hundreds. Anyone who's done Pilates before knows the hundreds. We'll just, we'll just practice the upper body movement first. So as you inhale, slowly find your tall shape and exhale, slowly curve the upper body upwards. You want to feel as if you're reaching your arms long and reaching your head long behind, back behind you. If you feel any pain in your neck, it means that you're not lengthening up and away with your head. You can always take one hand behind your head and swap like this when we're doing the hundreds. I'll do that version today. Frankie will do the full version. <laughs> Slowly take your head all the way down. So that's the upper body action. 
The lower body action, inhale, find tall shape, exhale, coming back up into tabletop. Yeah, you want to think that you're still squeezing the knees together a little bit. If at any point you feel any pain in your lower back, draw your knees a little closer. Are you ready? Inhale, finding tall shape. Exhale, reach the arms really, really long. Feel the top of your head reach back behind you. Level one, if this feels like it's too much, you can always take your head down. Level two, you can swap your hands like I'm going to do. Level three, like Frankie, keep the arms reaching long. I want you to imagine that there's a your hands are on water and you're slapping your hands against the water like this and breathe. Ready? Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Let's speed it up a little bit. Four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. We should feel strength in your arms as you move them. You should feel your lower belly holding you here. See if you can come up a little higher. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. Last 20, maybe extending the legs. Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last 10. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And hold. See if you can come up a little higher, a teeny bit higher. And slowly release it all the way down. Nice, hug the knees in towards your chest. Maybe making circles with your knees just to release through the spine. Wonderful, how are you feeling in the back there, okay? <laughs> Lovely. Cross at the ankles, holding on to your knees. You're gonna just roll up and down until you come all the way up to sitting. Lovely. Reach your arms all the way forwards like this. This is the Pilates roll-up. So in the Pilates roll-up, if you find this challenging, it's a very challenging move, you can have your feet up against the wall as that will help you to push to come all the way up. You want to think about reaching your arms forward, so we're still finding our tall shape. Top of the head reaches upwards, feet reach forwards, fingertips nice and long. As you inhale and as you exhale, slowly curl the spine all the way down onto the mat. Wonderful. Fingertips reach up towards the sky. Inhale, find tall shape. Exhale, chin to chest. See if you can slowly roll up. You want to try and make it so that your feet don't move. It's really, really hard. <laughs> this is hard, isn't it? Inhale, find tall shape. Exhale as you slowly peel the spine all the way down. Nice. Keep thinking about pushing out through your heels. Inhale, lengthen, tuck the belly in. Exhale, slowly peel it all the way up. Wonderful. Inhale, tall shape. Exhale, pull back here with the belly. Find a scoop of your abdominals as you slowly come all the way down. Last one, I know it's hard, you've got this. Slowly tuck your chin towards your chest, scoop the abdominals, slowly coming all the way, all the way up. And slowly rolling it all the way down. Lovely. Nice, so now we've done the first two, the hundreds and the roll up. Those are the first two of the magic seven. Next one is single leg circles. And this is one that I find that most people get very confused with as I see hips wobbling from side to side. So as you inhale, find your tall shape. Heels reach that way, head reaches that way, pulling your belly in and scooping it underneath your ribs. Slowly draw your right knee up towards you. Back into tabletop. The, uh, the full pose has the leg extended. I find when I have my leg extended, it takes it all into the quad. This is not an exercise for the quad, it's an exercise for stability of the core. So if you feel like me, that you've gone into your quad and when you have your legs straight, um, which is the level two position, you can bend your knee slightly. So level one is full bend, level two either full extension or slight bend and turn the foot outward slightly. Nice, hands are on the floor. 
or on your belly if it helps you to feel engaged. As you slowly inhale, draw the right foot in towards the left side, circle it all the way around as you exhale and come back to the center. Lovely. What I want you to feel, keep going in your own breath rhythm, what I want you to feel is that your hips are not wobbling from side to side like this. So on the floor you should look nice and stable hips staying in line with each other, not going like this. Wonderful. And you can feel that it's your lower belly that's doing the action. See, this one's coming up a little bit. It's a toughie. As you roll it all the way in, engage here, engage here, engage the lower belly a little bit more so the, the movement is not coming from your leg, it's coming from your lower abdominals. You want to imagine that your thigh bone is plugged into your hip socket and you're drawing circles inside your hip socket. Wonderful. Hold and slowly release the leg all the way down. Nice. Slowly bringing up the left leg now. Remember you can have the knee bent, you can have the leg extended, but if you feel the quad activate, have a little bend and turn the foot outward slightly. Take maybe your hands onto your lower belly or onto your right hip to find that stability. Slowly inhale, bringing the leg inwards. Exhale, slowly takes it all the way around and back. Very, very slow circles, feeling that it's all coming from your abdominals rather than coming from your hip joint. Nice, beautiful. Close your eyes if it really helps you to feel it. And remember what I said, if you want to go really slow like I like to do, feel free to go ahead. If you can go faster and it means that your pelvis isn't rocking, that's okay too. But if, as soon as you feel your pelvis rocking, you need to slow down. Wonderful. Just one more circle. Beautiful. And slowly bend the knee. Place the leg down. Take a little moment to refine your tall shape. Heels, head, pulling in with your belly. Then draw your knees in towards you. We do rolling like a ball. Hold on to the tops of your knees and draw your nose towards your knees. Just like you would when you were a child and doing a forward roll. Keep the knees nice and close in. As you inhale, slowly come all the way up. See if you can catch yourself. If you're a yogi, you'll want to go pop and straighten your back because that's how we do it in yoga. In Pilates, we keep the scoop of the lower abdominals the whole time. So exhale takes you back. Inhale slowly lifts you up. See if you can have a little moment of holding up and holding back because then you're really controlling with the abdominals. It's harder than it looks, isn't it? Lovely, slowly rolling all the way back. This is rolling like a ball all the way up. Rolling all the way back, hold, all the way up, hold, one more, all the way back, hold, and all the way up, hold, lovely, slowly lower yourself all the way down, keep the right knee in towards you, extend the left leg long but don't place it on the mat, your left hand comes onto the knee, your right hand comes onto the shin. Single leg stretches. As you exhale, pu push down with your left hand towards you and pull your right hand so that your leg goes down and in towards your chin. Lovely. And swap. Push and pull. And swap. Push and pull. If it's too much for you, you can always do level one where you have your head down on the mat. Otherwise, curl up with the belly so that your chest is lifted. Nice. Push and pull. Beautiful. Exhale. Push and pull. Beautiful. Keep going. Push and pull. One more time each side. Push and pull. Push and pull. Last side. Push and pull. Beautiful. Squeeze the knees in towards the chest. Again, level one, you can take your head down. Level two keeps your head up.
Have your knees in tabletop, arms here by your side. This is double leg stretch. As you exhale, extend the legs, extend the arms. As you inhale, draw a big circle with the arms and then exhale, draws your knees back in, hold on to the knees. Lovely, inhale, hold, exhale, reach and lengthen. Inhale, big circle with the arms, exhale, bring everything in and squeeze. Just two more. Exhale, extend and lengthen. Inhale, circle the arms, exhale, slowly bring it in and squeeze, hold. Exhale, reach your arms long, circle the arms as you inhale and exhale, bring the knees in and hold. Take the head down onto the mat, maybe turn the head from side to side, taking any pressure out of the neck. Lovely. Beautiful. Extend the legs long on the mat. This is the last of the basic seven. Reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. One more roll up just to get into position. Inhale, find your length of your back body and draw your belly in towards you. Slowly curl your chin up towards your chest and come up to a comfortable seated position. This is my favorite of the magic seven. It is sp spine stretch forwards. And in yoga, when we, were when we would do a move like this, this would be a forward fold, we'd be trying to reach for the toes and go as long as we possibly can. In Pilates, it's more about stretching through the spine. It feels beautiful. So keep reaching your arms forwards. And I want you to imagine that there's like a big beach ball here in front of you and you're lengthening up, 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 up and over it. So you're rounding the whole of your back behind you. So as you inhale, find your tall shape. As you exhale, feel your spine push back behind you as you round the whole of yourself over this big beach ball. Can you feel it, Frankie? You feel the belly curving in. You can feel your spine and shoulders widening back behind you. <laughs> nice. Inhale, coming back towards the center, and exhale, rounds you forward. Let's just check her because she's a yogi and she'll want to be straight. Nice. Look, see, can you see on Frankie's spine how it's a little bit straight here? I wanted to push more into my hand. Yes! Really reaching forwards and rounding, 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 rounding. Lovely, beautiful. Inhale to come all the way up. It's such a nice stretch on the back. Anyone who works on a computer, Particularly now we've got so much screen time with quarantine. This is so nice to release the shoulders and the spine. Lovely. Last one. Inhale, find length. Exhale, reach forwards, 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 forwards. Find a full curve in your back. Feel like you're pushing into my hand. My hand is on your upper back. It's on your middle back. It's on your lower back. And slowly coming all the way up. Wonderful. Just let yourself flop forwards over your legs. Shake your head from side to side. Check there's no tension there. So that, those are the magic seven. It's the hundreds, the roll up, the single leg circles, roll like a ball, double leg stretch, spine stretch forwards. And from now on in any Pilates class that we do here um, with our virtual retreat for Escape Haven, we'll be doing those as our warm up. Now you got them nailed. Wonderful. And inhale, slowly curling all the way up. Nice. Frank, you can stay sitting like that. I'm going to sit like this so you can see it from all angles. Take your legs nice and wide. We're just going to do a nice little seated twist. Extend your arms nice and long like this. Find that tall shape. So think about pulling in here with your belly, finding a C curve as you tuck your belly under your ribs. As you inhale, open your left hand to the left hand side, get a nice twist. Feel strength and length through your arms as you reach in opposite directions. And come back to the center. Swapping sides, right arm opens, beautiful. Drop the shoulders a little, feel that length through the torso. Back to the center, one more time each side. Opening the left arm all the way up. Back to the center, last time, opening the right arm. Finding length through the torso, pushing out with the heels. 
and back through the center. This time, twist opening the left arm so you're facing towards the left side of your room. And as you exhale, allow your right hand to move forwards towards the outside of your left toe, like you're trying to saw off your little toe. See if you can reach further, 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 and slowly come all the way up. One more time. See if you can reach all the way to the outside of your left toe. Reach further, further, further. Hold. Still find that scoop in your abdominals and feeling a nice lengthening in the back of that left leg. And slowly coming all the way up. Swapping sides. Come back to the center. Open the right arm up. As you exhale, reach the outside of that right toe. See if you can reach further, 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 and slowly come all the way up. See if you can go even further this time, ready? Exhale, slowly go to the outside of your right toe. Reach further, further, further. Pull the belly in, the belly is what lifts you here. Slowly coming all the way up and back to the center. Nice. This one's a little bit of fun. I know Frankie will like this one. <laughs> Lovely. Extend the legs out in front of you. Some of you might look like this and that's absolutely fine. Some of you might look like this and some of you might look like this. Wherever you are is perfect. We're going to do rolling like a ball but with our legs nice and wide because when do we get to play? You know, we're all stuck in the house. Let's play. Ready? As you exhale, allow your body to roll all the way back. See if you can hold. As you inhale, come all the way up. Nice. Try not to pop like yoga. See if you can keep the curve like Pilates. As you exhale, roll all the way back. Hold. As you inhale, come all the way up. Nice. Last one. As you exhale, roll all the way back. Hold. As you inhale, come all the way up. Nice. Cross of the ankles and just fold forwards a little bit. We're almost there. We'll do a little bit for the back. Seeing as we've done a lot of work now on the front of the body. Come up into your boat pose. So we'll transition through boat to get onto our backs. And slowly, 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 slowly release yourself all the way down onto the mats. Nice. Roll onto your bellies. I'm going to move my, my little plan up here. Nice. Wonderful. Lay here on your belly. You can place your forehead onto the floor. Reach your arms out long in front of you. Lovely. Think about wrapping your glutes so it kind of feels as if you're squeezing your bum a little bit. You want to find that length even though that you're lying on your belly, you can still find your tall shape no matter what position we're doing in yoga, I mean yoga, in Pilates, you always want to think tall shape. So find your tall shape here, lengthening the body, drawing up the belly, tucking it under your ribs, drawing your ribs towards each other, little squeeze of the glutes. And as you inhale, just raise your arms. As you exhale, place them down. Wonderful. If that was okay for you, now maybe think about lifting your head. If, it was, if that felt like enough for you, you're more than welcome to keep your head down on the mat. So inhale, just lifting upper body. Exhale, placing it down. Lovely. Inhale, lifting the upper body. Hold. Exhale, placing it down. Two more. Inhale, just the upper body. And exhale, placing it down. Now make a little pillow for your head with your hands, just the lower body. Inhale, raises just the lower body. See if you can get your thighs up a little higher, Frankie. Exhale, slowly takes it down. Wonderful. Inhale, lift and squeeze. You can feel your back working, the back of your body here. And slowly releasing it down. One more time. Inhale, lift. 
and exhale, lower. Now taking the arms back out, we're gonna try and lift the upper body and the lower body at the same time. If you feel a pinch in your lower back, keep your legs on the floor for half and just do the arms and then swap halfway through. Inhale, lifts the upper body and the lower body. Hold. Now paddling opposite arm and opposite leg like you're swimming. See if you can come up a little bit higher. A teeny bit higher. Keep your neck long so look towards the floor. A little bit higher. Hold. And exhale, slowly release. Nice. Take your hands to just underneath your shoulders and push your body up coming into a cobra pose. Keep a little bend in the elbows so that it's not so much pressure in your, in your body, yeah. Wonderful. We're gonna do some neck stretches in this cobra pose, so stay exactly where you are. Squeeze the elbows in a little bit more towards your body. Maybe take your hands slightly closer there, Frankie, so that it's less pressure in your shoulders, yes. So we're just stretching out here. The aim of this pose is to get a nice stretch and length through the belly as we've done a lot of belly work today. So just drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Allow your head to roll forwards, taking your chin to your chest, taking your left ear towards your left shoulder. Nice, enjoy the stretch in the right side of your neck. Then drop your head towards your chest, bring it all the way up one more time, enjoying the stretch on the left side of the neck. Feel still the length in your abdominals, slowly dropping the head all the way down and bringing it to the other side. Nice, coming back in towards the center. Last strengthening pose, we're gonna hold plank because plank is, it is in yoga, it's in Pilates, it's in everything, I'm sure. Um, Lucy does it in her fitness too. We're gonna hold a plank just for a little bit, just to talk through the structure of plank and Pilates. So everybody, you can either, if plank is a little much for you or you think, gosh, I've already done enough, you can be more than welcome to keep your knees down, but I want you to feel as if you are shifting your weight forwards into your hands. So not, uh, not hands and knees like this, but weight forward so your hips are dropped a little bit lower. Spread your fingers nice and wide and push down with all parts of your palms. If this is easy for you and you wanna take it up a notch, then tuck the toes and lift the legs. You can push back with the heels. So in Pilates, just as in yoga, you wanna feel as if you have your tall shape here in your plank too. So the top of your head is reaching forwards, your heels are reaching backwards, your belly is pulling inwards, your ribs are pulling together, push up between your shoulder blades so your upper back is nice and rounded, lovely, let's hold it for 10, keep breathing, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, drop to the knees, sit back into a child's pose. Nice. Take a moment here in your child's pose just to notice how your body feels. Maybe you feel more energized. Maybe you're noticing what it feels like to be in parts of the body that you don't really notice, usually. Noticing what it feels like in your feet, your legs, your spine, your belly your shoulders, arms, face. Wonderful. And slowly coming all the way up to seated. And most Pilates classes don't do stretches at the end, but you know, as a lover of yoga, I think it's important. Take your hands on the floor in front of you. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine and exhale, just fold forwards. We've done a lot of work in the spine today, so we really just want to let it release forwards, check that there's no tension there. Again, remembering that your pose might look different to mine and Frankie's, and that's okay. As long as you are feeling length in your spine, it's perfect. On your next inhale, walk both hands over to the left-hand side, taking your belly over your left thigh, 
and exhale again just release the body down should feel a nice stretch here through the right side of your body Slowly walking your hands back through the center, just swapping sides for me. Exhale, releasing the body down, enjoying that stretch through the side. Slowly coming back through the center, just releasing forwards one more time, really releasing that lower back, releasing the neck, Maybe move your jaw from side to side. And slowly walking your hands all the way backwards, taking your hand down next to you. Inhale, raise one arm up and over. Enjoy a stretch through your side. Slowly coming all the way up, just swapping sides one more time. All the way back up to the center. Take your hands on your knees, close your eyes. And just take a moment to feel a huge sense of gratitude for the body that you have. That enables you to move and breathe. Every single day we are so lucky. And thanking your body for your, helping you with your practice today. And thank you for joining me in this practice and I look forward to seeing you soon for more Pilates. Take care. <laughs>